What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got some really exciting news for you that I wanna, I wanna get into it because it happened yesterday and it's something I've been waiting for and working towards for so long and it happened. So ladies and gentlemen, you who have been following me for quite a while, I am finally a permanent resident of Finland. And this is, this is some really big news for me. You know, so for those of you who don't know, I moved to Finland around four and a half, almost five years ago now, which is wild when I actually think about it. And the reason I moved here was for a woman, actually. And we tried hard to make things work and things ended up falling apart and blah, blah, blah. I've told the story a million times. But the point is, I decided to stay for work because I'd already started building my life here. I wasn't quite sure how everything would work out. I decided to apply for a resident permit on the grounds of work because I had a good job here and we were working well together and it was fun and I was learning quite a lot. So I was given a year's resident permit. As that year was coming to an end, I'd been living here for four years already. So I qualified for applying for a permanent residence. I did that a couple months ago and I didn't expect it to take so long because the government could see what I've been doing here, paying taxes and all that good stuff. But just the nature of these things sometimes, <laughs> it was taking forever. In fact, it was taking so long that my resident permit ran out. So here I was stuck in Finland, unable to leave because if I left, I wasn't able to come back and you are allowed to stay in Finland while your application is still being processed. So every few weeks, maybe a week or two, every one or two weeks, I get an email from the immigration telling me that my application has not even started processing. And this was frustrating. So I get an email every so often thinking that things are progressing, but nothing. So a few weeks ago, my work wanted to send me to Amsterdam and I wasn't able to go because I was stuck. I, I tried to call the Finnish border guard and ask them, hey, would you let me leave and could I come back? And no go. So I found out that you could actually attempt to expedite the process. So if you have grounds for why the process should be quicker for you, you can do it. So I did that. I explained that it is now starting to affect my work. And I didn't expect too much from it, you know. And then you fast forward a couple of days later, I was having a pretty average day. Not a very good day, actually. And so I decided to get myself up and to do some exercise and to not allow my emotions to drag me down. So I started exercising and... I heard a bing on my phone. I picked up my phone and it was the immigration services. And they told me, your application has still not been processed. And I was like, oh, whatever. So I guess that expedited email I sent did not do anything. 10 minutes later, and I'm not kidding, literally 10 minutes later, I get another email saying, your application has begun processing. And that was a really fantastic news for me. I was ready to go out and celebrate because that's a vibe. It means that at the very least, things are happening because the way things were going before, I could have somewhat expected to receive a decision back in maybe five to six months, which would have been absolutely horrendous. If you're enjoying this video right now, can you take a moment to give this a like? and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm going to be sharing a lot more of my journey, not just here in Finland, but just me as a person. So if you're interested in me as a person at all, give me a follow. I've also got Instagram and TikTok and all that good stuff I post on there daily. But that wasn't the end of it because another 10 to 15 minutes later, I get an email saying that a decision has been reached. And... Yo, when I tell you that I was nervous, I was genuinely incredibly nervous. 
because you know i i believe i'm i'm quite an emotionally and mentally strong person or at least i try to believe that so i told myself that no matter what happens i will find a way to survive and to to make the best of a terrible situation if it turned out that way so <laughs> i went to my computer i went onto the immigration service where you read your decision and I opened it up and the first thing I noticed was it was all in Finnish and I can't read Finnish very well. And right at the bottom, it said, you have been granted a permanent resident permit. And, you know, it really touched me because I don't think people understand just how much living here has affected the person that I am, the way it shaped me. I've gone through some of the hardest things I've ever gone through here in Finland. And yet, because of that, I have somewhat fallen in love with this place a lot more. I watched a movie just the other day about these two random people, uh, a man and woman, who don't know each other. They take a plane together, a small little plane, and then it crashes and they have to survive there. <laughs> they despised each other at first, but as time went on, they genuinely began to fall in love. And I feel like I could mirror that story onto my story with Finland. I'm genuinely blown away. <laughs> I was just thinking back today to the first video I made about living in Finland. Yo, what's up guys? So I've been in Finland for about four months now and it's absolutely amazing. I love this place. But being black here <laughs> is interesting. The first thing I noticed when I had a chance to check out Helsinki and walk around a bit was where are all the brothers? I understand it's Finland, it's a northern country, so it's really cold. Black people don't like cold. <laughs> I moved here for love, okay? I don't want you to get the wrong impression. Finnish people are very kind and polite. They will never outwardly try and make you feel different. But the one group in the Finnish society that doesn't give a damn about your feelings is children. <laughs> children are unashamed of showing their absolute astonishment in seeing your chocolate skin for the first time. I'll be walking down the road and there'll be a parent with a child and the child is like laughing and as soon as I walk by it's like <laughs> It's actually pretty hilarious whenever I see that I just always look back at the child like My name is Jeff So black people here come in two different flavours The first type, you see one another, it's like a wing, fist pump, thumbs up like I see you brother You know something like that The next type of black person I've noticed here is the kind when you're like Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that's about yet. Having said all that, I feel very welcome here. Finland, thank you for making me feel so good. I appreciate you. Stop being so cold. Looking at that, I was a completely different person at that point. And also, the video editing is quite horrendous. And <laughs> I have changed quite a lot, but I still see that I have a lot of the same views. And when you go back and you look at some of my older videos, you'll begin to see this through line of me slowly beginning to accept Finland as home. And I remember during Christmas, it was, I think it was just when the pandemic was starting. I think so. I made a video about walking through Helsinki and talking about how living here is now becoming home to me. And maybe I'll just show you a little bit of it. When I first arrived here, I remember walking around having no idea where the hell I'm at. Oh, <laughs> like everything just seemed so foreign and, and crazy to me. But now, you know, it, it feels like like home, which is which is always a good thing. I remember just how shocked I was at this feeling. I would never have dreamed that that would happen to me, and yet here I was. And another thing I want to shine a light on is 
sometimes bad things happen and and it can be very challenging and you might feel that the easiest path forward is to just give up and to lay on your couch or in your bed in a fetal position. And one thing I have learned while living here is that everything you face in this life, it's so much better facing it on your feet. I remember moving into this apartment and there was absolutely nothing in this apartment. I slept on the floor right here and there was no couch, there was no table, there was nothing, there was no lights, no heating. Okay, wait, there was heating, but I had to pay I hadn't paid for it yet. There was absolutely nothing. And I remember sleeping on the floor using my bag as a pillow. Absolutely broken. I didn't know how I was going to keep going. I was in an alien country. I felt like I didn't have very many friends. I felt so unbelievably lonely. It was it was very wild. At that time, friends, at that time, I could not see a path forward. Everything felt terrible. There was no point in even trying to keep going. And I don't mean that in the dark way, like I wanted to end myself or something. No, I felt like, wouldn't it just be easier for me to just leave and to go back home instead of having to wrestle through this difficult situation covered in the mud of fear and loneliness. But I am so happy that I didn't do that. I'm so happy that I kept on going and that I believed that there was a picture in front of me that I just couldn't see. And all I needed to do was slowly, slowly step back so that I could see the picture in front of me. And now, after living here for quite a while, I feel like things are now slowly starting to come together. I I can't believe that I get to do what I do. I'm blown away by the fact that I get to, well, in some of my other social media channels and stuff, I get to talk about the things that I love and I enjoy. I'm so excited about the future here. I've even done things, think about this. I've even done things here in Finland, like talking about politics. That's crazy. That's something I would never have dreamed of. Something I never thought that I would even do at all. And yeah, so I know this is probably a very ranting and raving video, but I just wanted to share that with you and to tell you that I'm, I feel genuinely blessed for number one, for who I am and number two, for, for being blessed enough to, to be living in a country like Finland. And I really love this place. I will always be a massive defender of Finland and Finnish culture because I see so much beauty in it. Something which is also really cool. Yo, guys, I am stepping out and trying to do a little bit of merchandise. And if you love what I do and you want to support me, that is probably the best way of doing it. And I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to stay and I am really excited for where this journey is taking me. You are all amazing. I hope you have a fantastic day, evening, or whenever you watch this. You're awesome. Bye.